Greetings everybody, this is Leviathan here, and today we're going to start out right at the top. Do not complete this week's challenge rift, the Crusader, until the season starts on Friday, November 22nd. The reason for this is that you want to have a seasonal character, you want the season to be started, so that when you finish the challenge rift, kill the rift guardian, that challenge rift cash will be able to be claimed on a seasonal character. And the reason that that's so juicy is because it comes with a bunch of rewards, you get gold, legendary bounty materials, you get death's breaths, so many things that you can utilize from your journey on 1 to 70 to speed it up. Literally take hours off of your journey to 1 to 70. So if you really care about min-maxing that, make sure you do not do this challenge rift. Don't complete it. You can practice it. Just don't kill the rift guardian until Friday when the season has started. You've got your seasonal character all set and good to go. Um, as far as the actual challenge rift here, this one's not bad at all. It's a Blessed Shield Lawn Crusader. So you've actually got the long rings. Um, only things of note really are the Ingeom. It's a fire version of the build, so you have a couple fire items, but Ingeom is nice. So kill all your elites, like the yellows, the mo the minions there, so that you can get your resets on that for like pretty much infinite horse. You do have Gerfalcon's foot in the cube, so you do have boosted Blessed Shield damage. It's actually pretty tanky too. You have 1.7 million life here. This guy really, or girl, really just wanted to make sure they stood, stayed alive. Achilla Curious. Convention Elements, which is just nice. Randomly, you'll do extra damage with fire. But really, there's nothing to this, guys. I'm going to hop in here. We've done a couple of plays so far. You want to come down here in the beginning. And the idea is to just really hunt the elites. Like, you can kill trash. You have a pain enhancer. So you want to be surrounded by a lot of nice, juicy trash. So you can get more of these... Uh, get more of these Blessed Shields out nice and quickly. But this build has always been great at killing trash uh, when you're surrounded just by a ton because you got all these combustions going on and everything. So what I'm going to do for you guys is just uh, play this rift out. I've done this uh, one and a half times now. Let's practice the beginning a little bit. I sneezed in my last video, so I restarted for you guys and blow your eardrums out. But the idea here is really to just go for the elites, use your cooldowns whenever you come up against the elites. If you feel like you're running into trouble with your health or anything like that, you can blow some cooldowns too. But ideally, it's just about going through the rift, finding the pylons, killing the elites, and you'll be fine. You'll be ahead of the time. Plenty, plenty, plenty. And again, it's a free spender because of the way that the Gerfalcon's foot works. So you really don't have to worry about, like, missing or throwing shields the wrong direction. Just as long as you see density in front of you, throw some shields out. So you can see right here is our first pylon. It's a power pylon. We just came straight up from the beginning there, right up to here. A nice yellow parts next to the power pylon, which is great. So we kill that. And then there's another one right here. I want to get here quickly so we can keep taking advantage of power. And like I said, it would have been nice to kill these minions just because it is. it would give us a reset on our uh, NG on there. There's nothing less left in that corner. And there's nothing in the top there either. So I would just continue to come right down here. It's another yellow. Ooh, and we got it. Just a little bit of our power left. Perfect. Kill that guy to get the reset on the NG on. You can see, this build maneuvers, man. You can just get through this nice and quickly. I wouldn't spend too much time on this floor because the mobs suck. You got a lot of these um, constructs to deal with, blazing constructs. And they can do some damage if they stack their fire up under you enough. So ideally, you're just trying to get these mobs and then move forward. A couple of juicy mobs there, though. And this one's very straightforward, though. It's a smaller version of these frozen woods. Nothing too much to it. A little bit of trash. Like whenever there's some trash, I'll stick around a little. But really, we're just trying to maneuver through. Here's our next elite. Um, in this corner, right to the bottom, there's nothing there. So don't feel like you need to go down into that alcove. There is a conduit that you saw we just picked up. And there's another. There's a yellow and a blue right next to this conduit. So if you engage both of those, it's great. You can kill them both at the same time. Some frozen there. Just one part of the blue left. There we go. And then there's nothing in this... Uh, little alcove down here just clean it up a little so the next floor is where you're going to end your challenge rift here you see it's a nice quick one too this will be a great one to start the season because whenever you get a quick one it actually feels really nice there's an elite in this room and this is actually where i spawned my rift guardian last time but i think i had stopped to kill a lot more on the first two floors as i was exploring a bit um so we might go a little further into this one let's see what we got yeah we need a little bit more a few of these mobs here. Let's get this ghosty. Let's see what this is in this room. So you can pretty much just clean up the rift right here. And there you go. So it's cold snap. I'm not going to kill him. I just teleport here. There he is. So that's it, guys. That's all there is to this one. 
I rearranged some of the skills. I don't know if some people don't know, but if you open up your skill menu, you can't change the skills because that's how a challenge rift works. You have to use what the original person used. However, on the bar here at the bottom, as long as the skill menu is open, you can actually drag these skills around. So if you like to have your horse on like your three or your E or whatever you rebound that to, you can move these around. Make sure you uh, take advantage of that. Um, again, the build is very solid. Blessed shield strong. Lawn is strong. So you really just get in there and hold down Blessed Shield for the most part. You hit your cooldowns whenever you feel like it. Akrat's champion when you come against elites. And that's really all there is to it. Um, I do have some more guides on the channel, so make sure to check those out. We've got the Season 19 preview for the Conquest, the Hadrix Gift. If you guys are curious about that, it'll be in the video description. Uh, we've also got a leveling guide on the channel. I'll put that in the description as well from a few seasons ago. I might make an updated one if I have time this week. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys are psyched and ready for the season to start. Again, it's November 22nd this coming Friday. Pretty hype. Um, I will be starting with a Demon Hunter. I'll be starting Softcore. And I'm not necessarily playing solo self-found, but I will probably start solo and just hop into groups here and there. I don't I don't have a really like goal-oriented plan for season 19. I'm just kind of play it by ear. I'm not really sure how long I'll do the season or whatever, but I'll definitely be there at the start. We'll be doing Level with the Cause, like I said in my last video. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that, guys. I hope you guys will join me for that opening night. Here's your guide for Crusader, getting that challenge rift done. And we will see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any future videos. And thank you for watching this one in particular. I will catch you on the flip. Peace.